Hey, this is Chris with AffiliateTuber.com. Today I'm going to do a Play Boost review for you. You're going to see a full demo of how this software works of setting up a campaign. I'm going to go over the one-time offers, the upsells, the pricing, and the bonuses you can get if you happen to pick up Play Boost through my website. That link will be directly under this video. I'm also going to put a link under this video uh, that will show you my top three sources of traffic, so be sure to check that out as well. Okay, so let's talk about Play Boost. What is it? Well, most of you probably already know and have heard that browsers no longer autoplay videos when people come to your website. And this can be a big issue for sales pages, uh, especially, um, and reviews, because people anymore, when they go to your site, they just notice this still picture and lots of times don't recognize it as being a video. And so they'll just scroll right past it, never watch your video, allowing you or making you to lose views, watch time, and possibly sales, conversions, and leads, and whatever you're using your video for. And so the whole idea of Play Boost is to get people to recognize your video on your website, and it does an amazing job of it. And it's only going to cost $27, one-time fee, that's it. And it is an early bird price, which means over a period of four days, it's going to go up to $37. So each day it's going to go up a little bit. So if you want the cheapest price, pick it up on the first day it launches, which is going to be, I believe, on the 31st of March. Okay, let me show you what it does. And then you'll see a demo of how it uh, works to, to get it set up, which is super easy also. So normally when you have a YouTube video on your website, you're going to see this is what it looks like right here. You got an image here. You got a little red YouTube play button there and a lot of people are just going to scroll past it. It's just not going to click. You know, people today are just so fast paced in what they're doing, wanting to get answers, wanting to know, want to click buttons that lots of times they overlook videos. And so the idea of this with Play Boost is to turn these videos into this where there's an image and there's text. And even if you get the one time offer upsell, there's even audio telling them to click the play button. Uh, but you can see here that these aren't just regular images. These are animations, and some of them are really good. They're really eye-catchy. Uh, like this one here says, oops, the video is currently paused. Click to play. And these are things you can edit, too, uh, within uh, Play Boost. And so instead of seeing these plain old images here, which people may pass up and never click, they're going to see images like this here, which tells them to say, click me. They're going to see a little animation uh, like this one here, click to wake me up, which is pretty cool because uh, people just want to click it just to see what happens. And of course, your video starts playing. And so that's the whole purpose of Play Boost. Uh, super easy to use. What I'm going to do is let this demo play so you guys can see how a campaign is set up. And then once that's done, I'm going to go over the one-time offers and the upsells. And then you guys can click the link under this video to visit my website to check out all the bonuses I'm offering if you happen to buy Play Boost through my website. So here's the demo. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your very first campaign inside of Play Boost. So the idea behind Play Boost, as you will know, is to create these amazing animated thumbnails of your videos to get people to click to play them so you can actually get views on your videos that you work so hard on so your marketing messages are actually seen this is all to counter the huge autoplay issue everyone is facing right now with browsers shutting down autoplay and people are really struggling to get views so what you would have seen at the moment are videos like this where it's automatically paused and it'll say click to play in the top right hand corner video is playing click to unmute uh, or even worse, just a normal still video, another still video. Uh, this is just another basic YouTube video with nothing over it. So these kinds of images are really hard to capture attention to actually get people to click to play. So what happens is everyone's views are down globally and this is what Play Boost attempts to solve and does so quite successfully. And to take a video from the default embedded option that your video hosting gives you, such as this default YouTube one or a default Vimeo one to something with a call to action, you need to actually hire a developer and pay someone to be able to place a script for you and using workarounds to go ahead and use and force autoplay actually can get you penalized by Google. So it's better to use something like a, a click to play call to action. And we take that a bit further with Play Boost with our animated call to actions and other elements you can add. So 
What, what it's gonna do is it's going to allow you to customize a fully animated thumbnail, just like we've seen with all the apps that have helped with Facebook ad images and banners and that kind of stuff, where the still banners just don't really have the same impact as things like cinemagraphs, which blew up in a big way. So these are to capture attention, get people to click to play, and to increase views on your videos. So with that being said, let's jump into the software. So as you can see, it's a very straightforward user interface, very user-friendly, easy to follow. You just select your video platform from the dropdown, you enter a video URL, and you click on next step. You can edit your video name over here, and you'll see it loads up a beautiful user interface right here where you can go ahead and edit everything about your video. So the first thing you can do is you can change your video thumbnail if you'd like to. It pulls the default one that you have on your video. And then we have all of our settings on the right hand side here. So let's click on overlay. And by default, it's gonna add this green overlay over here. But as you can see, we have plenty of patterns you can go ahead and you can put over your video. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. But if we go for like a just a, a normal transparent color like this, we can edit the color, so let's make it either white, or we can make it a bit darker. Let's go with that. Okay, so that's our overlay for our video. And again, all of these settings are optional. You don't have to use every single one, but the aim for each one is to help your video stand out from your page so it doesn't just look like a still image. We want your videos to be seen by your visitors. So you can use any of these elements for your animated thumbnail. So what's very cool is it basically builds an image on this canvas right here over your video. And with every single element you upload, you have the ability to apply an animation to it. So it really does capture your visitors attention and they will see your call to action, which uh, in their example I showed a bit earlier was click to play, but you can customize it to say anything you'd like. So let's go ahead and let's look through here. So we can upload images. We can search for GIFs. We integrate with an API, so you can search for a keyword and it pulls up all different GIFs as related to your search. And then you have the image library where if you've uploaded images in the past, such as my logo, you can go ahead and you can use those in the future at any, at any time. And you can rotate them or apply an animation. So you'll see that the animation you apply only, only loops once. And that's just not to distract you while you continue editing your video. When the video is actually live, your element that you apply the animation to will actually loop indefinitely. So it'll continue looping the entire time the visitors on your page as to ensure that their, their attention is captured by your video. I don't want that on this one. So all I have to do is click on delete in the top right hand corner here. For every single element, we have the toolbar over here. So we can move the alignment, we can layer it, we can move it behind the overlay if we want. So every single element, you have the ability to edit the layers, you have the ability to duplicate it, and then you have the ability to delete it if you don't want that element. All right, so if I select here now, it's going to not allow me to select the image because the image is behind the overlay. So I just say send to back, then I can select the image and I can delete it. Very straightforward. Okay, so we're not gonna use an image for this one or maybe we should just have a look here. Okay, so let's add a GIF. Let's say we want that in the top right-hand corner. I can resize this if I want to. And I can also apply an animation to the GIF, which is pretty cool. And then I can add text. Now this is one of my favorite elements in the software because you can add a very powerful call to action as I did on this one over here, click to play but you can add anything you like. You can see we have all these different templates for text in the right corner, and it loads a whole new toolbar at the top for this element. So if I go ahead and I scroll up, I have this text box here in the top right-hand corner where I can edit this text. So let's say I can say, uh, click here to unmute, or click here to play, anything you'd like. And then we have all these premium fonts that you can choose from. All right, I prefer to use the thick fonts because they just do stand out more and they look a little bit more clean. Then I can go ahead and edit the font size if I want it to be bigger, so it's a lot easier for the visitor to see. And then I can 
transform the text to uppercase, lowercase, or I can just capitalize the first letter. The powerful thing here is applying an animation to your call to action. So if I want this to pulse, I can go ahead and I can select that. If I want it to swing, I can do that. If I want it to wobble, I can do that. If I want it just to be jello, I can do that. Very, very powerful animations you can apply. So let's go with that. And remember, it's only gonna loop once, so it doesn't distract you while you're editing your video, but once it's live, it'll loop indefinitely. All right, so we've added our text element now. It's gonna close this. And just once again, if I wanted to delete this, I just click on the element and I click on delete. So let's go and look at emojis now. So as you'll know, emojis are incredibly engaging, whether it be in a chat conversation or in a video or anything like that, because they notice them from a familiar medium through which they communicate with people. So they most probably use them with text apps, whether it be WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or anything like that. When they see an emoji, it captures their attention. So all I have to do now is select any of these emojis and we have all these different categories too. All I have to do is select which one I want to use. So let's use this one over here and I can resize this to my video. And I can also apply an animation to this. If I just wanted to pulse, for example, I can go ahead and select that. And then I can add a play button. And we have these amazing templates right here that look really good over a video. It's by default going to add it as green, but you can of course edit the color to any color you want. So let's go ahead and let's make this a shade of blue. That's a pretty good one there. And then I'm actually gonna apply the same, I'm gonna apply the same color to this over here. Okay, and then what we can do is we can actually center the play button when we replace it or move it around and we want it to be 100% centered, we just click on the center button over here and it'll go ahead and it'll center it over our video. So let's go ahead and just resize that. As you can see, this all looks really, really good. Let's make that a bit smaller so it looks a bit cleaner. And we can move that around too. Let's move our emoji over there. All right, so now, what will happen is when we place this video, wherever we place it, whether it be on our WordPress site, on our sales page, on our squeeze page, on our ClickFunnels page, whatever it may be, we work with all page builders and all of that. It's actually gonna apply each animation that you apply to each element and the end result ends up being something like this. So when a user lands on your page, they immediately are captured by this animation and they are prompted to click to play, which results in more views for your videos and ultimately your marketing messages that you work so hard on producing being seen by prospects leading to more sales. So once you've placed all of your elements, you simply click on save. And of course you can edit your video name over here. You go ahead and you click on install and it, it gives you a simple line of code to place before the body tag on your website. So that's how simple it is to place. Now, keep in mind that you go ahead and you embed your video as per usual. So YouTube, for example, gives you a simple embed code that you go ahead and place on your website. Same with Vimeo and same with Wishjar and all those different video players. You keep that default embed code that they give you on your website and you place this as an additional script and the script will detect that video automatically and apply this over your video. So there's no need for, for you to replace the default player. This does not replace a video player. It's simply a script that goes over your video, which prompts people to click. So that's how PlayBoost works. This is the guide to setting up your first campaign. Okay, so pretty easy to use, right? So what I wanna talk about now are the upsells and the one-time offers. So $27 is what the early bird price is going to cost if you pick it up on the day it launches. Every day afterwards, it's going to go up by a few dollars until it hits $37. Now the upsells, the first one, I'm going to highly recommend you pick up the first one. If you're going to pick up uh, Play Boost, then you may as well get the first uh, upsell. The other ones are good too, but this one here is really going to uh, add a lot of features and options to it. You don't have to have it, but it'll really enhance it. And so what it does is it will also allow text to speech technology. So it'll, you know, you can tell it to say, unmute me, I'm ready to play. So when they scroll down to see that, it's going to say that. 
and not only are they going to see the animations or the text that says click me to play or whatever you tell it to, uh, but it's also going to say it out in audio. There's A and B split testing, so you can find out which ones are doing the best. You get 20 premium done for you templates, animations, overlays, fonts, extra play buttons, and even pro analytics so you can find out what exactly is working and what's not. Now, the one time offer number two is the Play Boost Agency. So, if you've got clients, if you want to go out and make these videos for your clients and upload them, you can do that. And it also comes with a client management dashboard. So, you can manage all your clients within the dashboard. And if you have clients, you know that a client management dashboard makes things so much easier and more convenient and easy just to, well, basically manage clients. So, one time offer three is the play boost white label rights and this is really neat if you guys want to resell play boost you can actually do that you can get a hundred licenses for hundred and ninety seven dollars so about two dollars a piece uh, or you can get five hundred licenses for two hundred ninety seven dollars and basically this is just going to give you your own admin panel where you can customize your branding manage your users add your own domains and all kinds of stuff so you can have your own uh, product here to white label and sell and then last is a Playboost lead toolkit with white label rights. And this is neat too because it gives you two different options to collect either emails on your videos or to have them to subscribe to your Facebook Messenger before they watch the video. So really good idea uh, to build and capture your email list. And that's going to be available also for $147 and comes with white label rights. So that's the one-time offers and the upsells with Playboost. Now the bonuses you're going to find on my website. And I constantly update those. I'm constantly seems like adding more and more bonuses all the time. So instead of going over all them right now with you, just go over there now, check out my website, the links under this video, and you can learn more about the bonuses. If you want those, then just pick this up through my website and you'll have instant access to them as well. And don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. I have a lot of training videos. I have a lot of review videos on many other products that you guys may be interested in, especially if you do any kind of video marketing. So that's my review on Play Boost. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to do all the things that everybody always tells you to do on these videos. You know, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Uh, leave a comment if you feel like it, and uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So have a great day.